Hey guys, this is not a commentary channel. This is an activism channel. So help me out, get get the word out by subscribing. Thank you very much. One thing that separated my experience out in Nationwide has been access to leaders. And I really appreciated that visibility, right? Because it's much different. So MTR. So Dr. O'Shea has been uh, pushing this guy for almost the last year, saying that this is a new improved Manosphere guy. He's super educated, you know, up with mobile. He's uh, bringing in a new, more kind of educated, classy form of the Manosphere. So let's test that out and see if this is, is a new Manosphere, that this guy is a, a new branch of the Manosphere. New age of the ministry. Let's try that out. Let's let's see how how uh, new he is, right? Let let's see how new he is. Let's see. He uh, apparently he has an MBA. Let's see if while he went to those good schools, did he learn how to do research? Hmm? Let's see if he knows how to do research. Let's see if he knows with that MBA whether he knows whether or not that before you promote somebody, maybe you need to check that person's background. Maybe you need to do a little research because as far as I'm concerned, uh, you can't be a high value. What the garbage they talk about? High value black man. If you can't do a little bit of research, you, you can't be a high value black man. If if you're promoting a white supremacist, and, and that's just my opinion. OK, so let's just test and see if Dr. O'Shea Duke Jackson is correct in saying that this new kid Okay, this new star, okay, the maybe the future king of the manosphere, is is uh, any better than the other guys? All right, can we test that? Let let's see. As you guys already know, I am an avid fan of Jordan Peterson. I love the things that he talks about. As you guys already know, I am an avid fan of Jordan Peterson. I love the things that he talks about. The IQ literature reveals that which no one would want to be the case, mm. which is that there are profound and virtually irremediable differences in people's cognitive performance, and that those differences have a very, uh, a very solid biological and heritable basis. No one wants to hear that. They don't want to hear that it's biological. They don't want to hear that it's heritable. They don't want to hear it's permanent. They don't want to hear that it's irremediable and that it actually has a practical consequence. And no wonder they don't want to hear it. And, and even worse, they don't want to hear that it differs between genders and ethnicities. That is, to me, one of the most painful things that I've ever learned in my life uh, is, is this kind of information. It is one of the great heartbreaks when it comes to the dream of pure egalitarianism. Uh, and that is, I think, even harder. It's an even harder pill for people to swallow. Yeah, well, the gender differences in IQ look relatively trivial, but there are differences in ethnicity. That... Yeah, well, the gender differences in IQ look relatively trivial, but there are differences in ethnicity. As you guys already know, I am an avid fan of Jordan Peterson. I love the things that he talks about. Yeah, well, the gender differences in IQ look relatively trivial, but there are differences in ethnicity. That... Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man! Shit, I'm saying. Yeah, well, the gender differences in IQ look relatively trivial, but there are differences in ethnicity. Yeah, well, the gender differences in IQ look relatively trivial, but there are differences in ethnicity. I love the things that he talks about. I love the things that he talks about. I love the things that he talks about. 